in this video a kind of egg timer circuit. And when you think that uh, this is a very simple circuit, yes, it surely is a simple circuit, though it took quite a long time to find it all out. Anyway, what's the idea of this circuit? Well, it's here on the breadboard. Here we have a 1000 microfarad capacitor. That's very, very high, especially when we look at, say, this timer unit. It's an analog timer, so it um, uh, has all kinds of, say, standard deviations. Uh, and then especially I mean that uh, it's analog. So it means that when you charge the capacitor here via that clip here, this is the clip goes to the goes to the uh, timer capacitor. Uh, you have to count by yourself, say one, two, three, four, five, to charge that capacitor completely up. And then the capacitor gives out its charge to a three-stage Darlington, and that three-stage Darlington shortcuts the base connections of the uh, multivibrator transistor. So here it is. So push for approximately five seconds here the, the switch. Uh, of course you cannot uh, say hold this switch completely on but only for a few seconds or so push for time that's what I'm uh, telling here and then that capacitor is charged it sends its charge to a three stage Darlington that Darlington shortcuts the base of the end transistor in the multivibrator and that means that it doesn't work for the time set by this capacitor and this uh, resistor. And the, say, the, 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 the seconds that you push here, that switch. Anyway, um, so shortcut of the base to the ground, then the oscillator doesn't work. Well, let me show it. Um, well, it's, it's now a 3 volt battery. I have to put down the camera for a while. At the moment, well, it starts. You can hear that it starts, but anyway. So now the, I shortcut now the timer capacitor here. But now, say on the other hand, I will give the timer capacitor here via this crocodile clip a charge. So, of course, the uh, say a few few seconds here, it starts on ten point zero zero point five four. Now the say the end transistor in the multivibrator is disabled and let's look on the on the clock perhaps that's interesting to show uh, how many minutes it will sorry for all the movements how many minutes this will take till that capacitor is discharged completely and when that capacitor is discharged completely, uh, say the, uh, the, the, the three driver transistors are disabled and that means that the multivibrator starts to work again. So again the schematic, 
it's very very simple though it took a quite long time to find it out at first I uh, worked with 9 volt a 9 volt battery of course during all the experiments I used my normal power supply say to save the batteries um, I don't want to deplete batteries when it is not necessary when you are working on an experimental circuit so uh, the first idea was of course to use the power supply uh, to get it working in a kind of way and after that tested it with a 9 volt battery I found that the uh, current that the circuit takes when it is say in a waiting position is too high on an, uh, a 9 volt battery so that is why I got back to uh, 3 volts that's of course always important when you want to make a circuit or publish a circuit uh, it has to have the lowest say rest current as possible um, well that's logical of course and I know this is an analog timer and with CMOS chips there are much better properties to make this kind of circuit because CMOS doesn't take uh, current, a lot of current, a tiny tiny current in the microampere range when that CMOS is not activated but even when a CMOS uh, chip is activated it takes a, a quite amount of current anyway no problem with that here I've used this uh, here in this case only uh, five bipolar transistors the bc 5 b I bought it from China uh, they are not as good as say the European types of the 1980s 1990s they they get very easily damaged I had not expected that and even with a BD139 or a BD140 they are medium power transistors from China they get v more or less more quickly um, defective compared to the original uh, Philips transistors of the 1980s 1990s etc etc well what's more that I can tell during the time that we wait till the beeper starts to work again now on 10.05 we have to wait a few minutes I think anyway let me talk perhaps a little bit more about my workbench this is my soldering iron I had quite a few in the past also a this is a Weller by the way that's a very good brand I bought a very cheap 50 watt uh, soldering iron uh, I don't tell where I bought it but it was a kind of shame it burned out after approximately 24 hours I got a new one from the uh, supplier that was very okay of course but that also burned out during after say using it um, two days or so anyway and this is a weller 25 watt weller and it still works and it is approximately 10 years old or so anyway so let's look at the schematic again and I'm waiting for the beep that will happen of course it will take some time and that's the reason why I'm talking about my workbench etc etc uh, this is that 
glare driver that I got from a friend and I made a video about it testing coils. Here are say kind of test results. First test results. Um, anyway, what's this? Well, I made in the very, very past a video about this. Two coils that are coupled in a certain way. And um, say it's a kind of varactor tuning. Well, here is the beep 10.07. Let's listen how it pops up. Of course, it must go higher and higher. So, um, it means that the circuit works. Uh, I don't like the sound, by the way, but now, of course, has everything to do with, say, the, the charge slowly falling down, slowly and uh, making the second transistor in the multivibrator working again. So, anyway, this is nice, good sound. And we are on 10 minutes. Well, uh, switch off it all now. Uh, you can, of course, calculate now the time. During my experiments, uh, it was approximately 5 minutes or so. Uh, the question is, can you make that time, uh, that egg timer time longer, perhaps? Of course, when you use a 2000 microfarad capacitor here, the time will go, go up very, very much. Uh, when you raise the, uh, the, the, the value of this resistor here, because the cap and the, sorry, the cap and the resistor set the time, uh, you can perhaps go to other times, longer times, especially longer, but I, this is only say the first ID uh, for everyone interested in doing these kinds of analog experiments, analog timer experiments, and there are more analog timers on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Uh, well, was quite lucky that I could demonstrate the time during which this very very simple circuit worked on 3 volt battery here was also my aim the 9 volt battery had a too high uh, output current so that had meant when you make it with a 9 volt battery um, a no very long life of that battery of course this is experimental Thanks for watching, pen over somewhat. And these capacitors here are critical. These two. 33 nanofarad, that is 0 0.3, 0 0.033 microfarad, or 100 nanofarad, that is 0 0.1 microfarad. And this 1 microfarad non-polar, of course you can test a an electrolytic in that case. Anyway, thanks for watching again.